everyone, and welcome back to a brand new Disney vlog. Hello. So we've just had uh, Waltz, a really good meal, and uh -huh. now we're going to go see. We've got time before we go and watch Rhythm of the Pride Lands. We're going to go see Creep Behind. Uh, it's, it's been a, a while since we've been on it. It's a small world. Yeah, and I've seen in some other vlogs. I mean, it just looks like the colour is even more yeah, vibrant. Yeah, especially the outside as well. Yeah. We just walk in a small world and the stage outside the castle has been decorated. It says Happy Holidays. So I don't know if they're going to do anything on there. I don't think there's been anything on there for a while. I have very fond memories of watching the 25th anniversary show on this stage. <laughs> that lives in my heart. <laughs> I love that. We sat down there, didn't we? Yeah. I love that 25th anniversary show. It is nice when they perform stuff on here, so... We might do. Fingers crossed. Let's set up for something. Yeah. Change of plan. <laughs> we were so close to getting to It's a Small World, and then I looked at my phone and realised that we only had... Uh, 20 like minutes. 20 minutes. Well, by the time we get there, like 15 minutes before Lion King starts. So, because this is the day that we definitely want to try and get it done, mm -hmm. we better go and do that first. Yeah, just in case it's busy. And then we go always advise get into the shows about 15 minutes before if you can. Yeah. And then we'll go do it as a small world, hopefully. <laughs> Just as we stepped outside, the heavens opened up. Another cracking Lion King. Such a good show. I love that show. It doesn't get old, I could just watch it. No. Like, every day. And they do a one straight after. Yeah. That was the 10 to 3, and then there's a one at half four. But now we're going to go. We don't know what's going to happen with the parade, actually. Yeah. At 5.30. I mean, if it's this heavy, I doubt it will happen. But uh, we're going to run along to It's a Small World. <laughs> I just missed it, but Goofy, Cowboy Goofy, just did a runner as well. Bless him, he was running in the rain like... <laughs> Some great planning from us, picking the ride that's the furthest away. Hmm. What should we do in a rainstorm? All, all the way across the park. <laughs> but I really need to go on it. Feet. Soggy feet, soggy, soggy feet, feet. Got, got, got those soggy, soggy feet. feet. Ooh, look at this. Little vivid. Little huts again to do with Christmas. I've never they seen them cool round here. Wine. Candy apple, caramelized peanuts, macarons. I know many have a love-hate relationship with this, but I find this one of the most relaxing rides at Disney. It's very it's relaxing, Disney. <laughs> <laughs> I just sit on it and I just feel, oh, I'm totally comfortable and relaxed now. Do you find the song relaxing? Yeah, I don't mind it now. 
Looking good. Oh. They've made the queue line bigger, I think. Oh yeah, they have. We've never actually watched the parade from the starting. Oh, we haven't? No. Oh, that's, oh yes. Wow. See what time it is. See what busy, how busy it is, but we've never watched it like down here, ever. I never realised that the Eiffel Tower is built into it as well, into the front. Is that Tower Bridge over there? Mm -hmm. We're at the front. I don't, I don't recall. Yeah, I don't recall ever being at the front of Small World. Hold on. Hold on to your hats and glasses. This here is the smallest world in the world. It's the happiest cruise, isn't it? I can't believe we're going to see creepy hyena. I think he missed us. I missed him. I don't know. I don't think he notices because he's too busy laughing. I can, I can see him. I can see him. They didn't get rid of him. There he is. Creepy So I just popped into Pizzeria Bella Notte and the reason was because I heard that there was something Luca themed mm. and there is, there's like a Luca section but it's closed off, so we might see if we can peer through a window. It's in here, but you can't really see through the windows, but there's, yeah, there's like fishing stuff on the walls, and I think there's a Luca painting as well. So we've decided to pick a new spot, so we're not going to watch from the front of the park. And it feels weird, we always watch from there. No, well, they got loads of barriers up, because yeah. obviously they're uh, hiding the Christmas tree. So, new trip, new spot. Yeah, so we're going <laughs> to wait here, which is right at the front of the parade. No. Here they come.
advantage while the parade is still on. This is one of the good things about seeing it early and then yeah, venturing off. Especially into um, Discovery Land. So we're going to go on Hyperspace Mountain, the first one of the trip. Who remembers when we did 10 of these in one trip? <laughs> it was on one of our bucket lists and looking back now, I don't even know how we managed that. <laughs> 10! I think there was one where we just, we like rode it back to back, didn't we? A couple of times. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> So good. That ride is just incredible. I mean, it's been a while now since we've been on it. Yeah. And it was even better than I remember. We were in the back as well, so there was just like momentum all the way yeah. through. Yeah, and that was a walk on as well. I had my brolly in my pocket. I know, still so it dark. Didn't fall out. <laughs> well, it's really nice in the dark as well, is that when you shoot up, you look out onto the park and it's literally like you can just see all the lights you can see the uh, castle in the background i missed that i was looking straight forward <laughs> here we go we are off into the nautilus it's been a little while since we've done this i love this i watched the film as well on disney uh, plus a couple of years ago yeah look at all this treasure captain nemo's chamber Where he's chillaxing. Oh, it's actually really nice and cozy. <laughs> I might go for a little nap. <laughs> I love the atmosphere of it though, like the sound effects and everything makes you think like you are in a submarine. Does it make you also feel like you're on a film set? Yeah. That's how immersive it is. Yeah. Suit. Oh, look. Oh. oh. Hot tub. <laughs> Hot tub. <laughs> the Grand Salon. Les baleines à bosse sont des créatures incroyables. Elles migrent plus loin que n'importe quel autre animal sur la planète. That baby whale learned to swim within an hour of its birth. These sea turtles must find the Nautilus a curious creature. Avec leur vision très perçante sous l'eau, ces tortues ont dû nous voir arriver de loin. Et elles se sont rapprochées pour nous observer. They'll have a hard time keeping up with the Nautilus. We're going to see what happens in the next one. Here the Nautilus has company. Des dauphins. Magnifiques. Ils sont réputés comme certains des mammifères les plus intelligents de la planète. So the feeling is, I think they've made it a lot more light-hearted. It's not as um, scary. So like there used to be a head, Captain Nemo's face used to appear here, but it doesn't anymore. And then the screen is all, well, I talk about when we get outside. Yeah, so that iris bit, I don't know if you remember from like an older vlog, when that opened, there was like an animatronic uh, of like a giant squid that used to attack the Nautilus based on the film. But um, now it's like an actual screen. It's really good though, because it does make you think that you're looking out into the ocean. Mm. And then there's a cycle of like four or five different sea creatures each time that it opens. Yeah. It's a bit, a bit educational. It's kind of like educational, but also like less scary. Yeah. Like they don't attack you. Like no. the other thing <laughs> <laughs> used to. <laughs> So I think our plan, we were going to head to studios, but we think we're actually going to head to Disney Village, have a little look in World of Disney, and then head back for the evening. Maybe go and grab a hot drink from, from Starbucks. Starbucks for the room. The question is, will the barricade be down tomorrow? So one time when we visited for Christmas, so Christmas starts on Saturday, and I remember that, t that year we went, they started doing a soft opening on the Friday. Yeah. So like everything came down, the lights came on, and they didn't tell you when the parade was gonna be. No. But it, it happened. They, it happened. We caught it. So we're not <laughs> sure. We're kind of hoping this trip, because if we get an extra day of Christmas, I'm not mad about that. That'd be nice. Look at all the fairies living in this tree. It's one of my favorite little Loads of them. details. Let's see what treats they've got in World of Disney. So as you come in, it's got a lot of the Christmas stuff that was in the shop on Main Street. But here they have a Disney 100 collection. So they have Disney 100 ears, 30 euros. I think this is a Disney 100 bag. And that is, oh, 
90. So yeah, I do like those ears. They would be good if you were going to the um, exhibition. A few more Disney 100 bits. What's that? Oh. <laughs> Mickey. A Mickey doll. <laughs> this is it. Oh, a beach towel. We always think about getting a beach towel. Sort of on time of year to buy one. But big mug. We saw this in the Disney store in London. It is super cool. Dr. Teeth Lounge Fly. <laughs> that is really Electric fun. Electric beer How much is that one? 90. And then a few more Disney 100 bits. I'm not sure if it's the if it's with the hundreds. Oh yeah, it is. Yeah. Uh, Disney 100, and that is 80. 80. I know a lot of people love these soap dispensers as well, but they have a Disney 100 one. A few different Disney ears that I haven't seen before, based on different princesses. Oh yeah, Belle. bells. And is that Tiana? Tiana. Snow White over there. I think. Oh yeah, Snow White. Yeah, I haven't seen them before. And then you got stitches. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is such a unique lounge fly. It's a rescue rangers one. <laughs> That's like their vehicle, isn't it? It even has like wings. Yeah. That's so funny. I'm guessing 90. I'm yeah. guessing 90. 90. Normally the quite individual ones are a little bit more expensive. Oh, Ooh, I bet lots of people will be a fan of this one. Elsa and Anna. 90 euros. And the Marvel one, I think. Oh, yeah. Avengers one. Looks tiny, that. An Encanto spirit jersey. Never seen that. In the back. <laughs> Time to shine. We and don't Bruno. talk about Bruno. Got quite a bit of Encanto merch here. Encanto ears. Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. Get a toy. And then this is uh, Disney Cruise Line. Oh yeah. <laughs> Captain Mickey. So Wish isn't out yet when we film this, but they already have all of the merch. They have... I don't know what any of this means. No, I don't actually know what her name is. They have her outfit. Oh, it says here. Asha. Asha. They've got the doll. They have... Blush. Flashes. I'm not sure what character that is. Oh, and then look, I think they've even got Wish Ears. Oh, yeah. Because I think that's the star. Yeah, these are Wish Ears. So these are 35 euros. They're quite sweet. They have a Wish pillow. I'm really excited for it. I hope it's good. Yeah. It looks good so far. It looks a lot more sort of like in line with a classic Disney. This must be the sidekick. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's cute. So we were just saying that they've really upped the merch on rides. And as you can see here, there's a whole section. There's a whole section. So you have like, oh my gosh, they're amazing. Small world ears. Small world ears. Oh, that's them. The um, Cuello. sun. Cuello. They have a small world t-shirt and a small world lounge fly. I must admit, I love this. That's very cool. 90 euros. I really like that. But yeah, they have Big Thunder, Phantom Manor. Oh, they're cool. <laughs> With the little top hat. Can be the Phantom. <laughs> Phantom Manor lounge fly. I wonder how many lounge flies there actually are in the world. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty cool. I'm guessing that's 90 euros as well. Oh no, that's 80. A little bit less. And then just by the exit here, they have Hollywood Tower hotel merch. So they have these really fun ears. So many new lounge flies. Got a big thunder one here. Spirit jerseys. And um, spirit jersey. <laughs> <laughs> big thunder. We saw that one in the parks. I mean, this is pretty cool. <laughs> for a mug. I mean, I'm all for a mug, but <laughs> that's, that's, that's going to be quite <laughs> tricky quite to something. drink out of. <laughs> the denim jacket that we spotted the other day. That's like a jumper. I can't see a spirit jersey. But they have t-shirts and jumpers. You can get a plaque. A plaque? 
put up in your house <laughs> is a watch. <laughs> so one more shop before we head back to Santa Fe. We're going to head into Disney fashion. Some more Disney 100 lounge flies. Purple one. One with all, that's quite sweet. And they have Disney 100 ears, spirit jerseys. This is quite cool. They have a little vintage section. So it's like full of vintage jumpers, <laughs> t-shirts. These definitely 90s, look. <laughs> that's so random, like Donald. Climbing a mountain. They're um, they're all done. It's uh, upcycling. Yeah, vintage. Yeah. Look at that! Like how old school that is. <laughs> Mickey playing golf. Clearwater Beach, Florida. I think another good place for vintage Disney is to look on like Depop and Vinted. Quite a lot of people sell old school Disney jumpers on there. Little denim jackets. Okay, I'm a little bit in love. That's cute. I'm a little bit in love with that. That is beautiful. I love it. 70. 70. Oh, it's quite pricey, but it's so... <sighs> and I love... He shouldn't be skiing. I love skiing. <laughs> that would be oh. me. <laughs> I'm a little bit in love with that. That's really good. What are these? Moss. Oh, look. Oh, look at it. <laughs> Big. Oh, this is, things these are, are nice. To, things are about to get out of control. <laughs> What's that? Oh, like a long oh, sleeve. Is that a spirit? Yeah. No, it's just a long sleeved top. Yeah, How much is the skiing goof? 60. <laughs> I like this little mermaid top as well. I really like the colours of that. And then I think this is a denim. Oh, yeah, denim jacket, little mermaid. <laughs> and this is a little mermaid esque dress. Have some spirit jerseys here based on different characters. Oh yeah, Ariel. You got a picture of her. Let's and try and guess. I think that is Moana. Boom. Yes. The palm three trees three. gave it. Tiana. Quick. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> These are really sweet. They look quite vintage actually. Uh, they are, oh, they're 70 as well. Oh, the jumpers are a bit pricey, I must admit. They've got them in navy blue. I don't know if there's any fish in this anymore. Can somebody tell me? I haven't spotted any, any of the big fishies. We haven't walked that side though. That was the side we used to see them on. Hmm. <laughs> So this is how all the buildings look when they're lit up at night. You know what they're giving me with the colour of the buildings? It's giving me Florida vibes, yeah, you know? What do you mean? Like um, when we visited Art of Animation and the All-Star yeah. sort of vibe. But even well, no, our, um, in the villa. Off-site, yeah, the villas. Yeah. They were like this colour. Well, like the walls outside were that yeah. sort of colour. <laughs> so we've walked up to the main building where the reception is. And then you got Starbucks there, so we're gonna pop along. Oh, can hear like the cars music playing. So we're just passing by the window, and this is the reception area for Santa Fe. And we're just heading along here. So we picked up ourselves some goodies. I got these actually from the vendor machine downstairs. Some crisps, because I didn't have any in Starbucks. And then you got a ham and cheese panini. Yeah. And I got a ham and cheese toasty. And then I got a decaf latte, and Helma got a hot chockey. Hazelnut one, really Oh, nice. yes, I'm looking forward to this. Oh, look at what we can watch while we have our food. <laughs> Bluey! <laughs> <laughs> These blueies! So They're hitting us right in the fields! So <laughs> <laughs> Anyone else cry at Bluey? Or just us? This lighting in Santa Fe is crazy! <laughs> How yellow it is! Um, but I just wanted to say there's something so cosy about being in a Disney hotel room after a day in the parks. I don't know, you just can't beat that feeling, can you? 
I also, I have my toasty, which was very nice. But I also have a little cinnamon roll. That is good. It kind of reminds me of Walt Disney World because of Cinnabon. Oh, yeah. um, which I know you can get in the UK as well. Um, but I don't know why. It just always reminds me of America. And yeah, just having a little cinnamon roll. I think Martin's actually going to put on Cars. Yeah. <laughs> because we're staying in Santa Fe, so we have to watch Cars. Also, truth be told, I've only seen it once and I actually can't remember a lot of it. It's going to crack in So that. I'm quite excited to watch it again. But yeah, we're just having a really lovely, relaxing evening, ready for a full park day tomorrow. We, we need to make a little plan. Is that what you were going to oh, say? Oh, as well. Same thing. Mm -hmm. Great by a finger line. Don't they budge? Don't they budge? Don't they budge? Don't they? <laughs> <You're right. laughs> yeah, we just want to make a little bit of a plan for tomorrow because tomorrow we sort of want to get done everything that's not Christmas because Saturday and Sunday is just going to be like Christmas. <laughs> We're about halfway through cars but i think we're gonna get all settled and not really do much else so thought we'd end the vlog here if you've liked hit the like button and also subscribe and we'll be back with some more disney soon and this is taking a makeup off getting ready for bed so <laughs> uh, if you've liked this one hit the like button and also subscribe and we'll see you next time toodle pipski